Yo, what's snapping zombies? You're watching Nacho Slacker, and I finally put together episode four of the Big Blue Beater series. In this video, I actually tackle the cab mounts slash body mounts on the truck because it looked like a big meteor landed right in the middle of the frame and the whole thing, it just looked weird. It was like bent in the middle, which I'll show you pictures, but I filmed the whole thing over the course of a long while. I think it was uh, maybe a month or two because it just, I ran into problem after problem after problem and as you will see in the video itself and all the clips, I explain what I ran into and all the solutions that I had to go through to fix everything. But it turned out okay. You'll see right after all these clips. We're gonna mess with some body mounts on the truck because I don't know if you've noticed about this truck. It looks like somebody dropped a meteor in the frame directly in the middle. Check it out. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it looks like it's bent in the middle of the truck. And I'm thinking it could be because the body mounts are really old and worn out and it's causing the actual cab to sit back further in the rear, kind of like lower. And so the shims that they have underneath the bed back or making it look like that like kind of like tilted forward and then you know co the combination of both is kind of like making it look weird you can kind of tell in the reveal right here I call it a reveal because the uh, body lines here it's uneven on the top it's got like a small probably I don't know I can't tell really because it's been an accident I guess it's all dented in right there, but it's it's at least like a half inch, it's a three quarter inch difference. So we're gonna get underneath here. Change the mounts. Yeah, I know. I need to do some rust repair down here too. We're probably gonna do that in the meantime. Yeah, we're gonna do this. My little brother's gonna help me and uh, see if it makes a difference. I'm hoping I don't run into really crazy problems. Uh, usually you do whenever you do anything. So we're gonna do this, check it out, see how it goes. If we run into some problems, we'll touch base back with you. So if you guys do anything like this, you'll know what to expect. So we'll see what it looks like after it's done. Let's get to work. Well, one of the rear ones already broke. That front one I was doing earlier didn't break, but it was damn close. But that's what the bolt looks like. Yep, that's all the stuff coming off of it. Here's the first one. Yeah, eight up. So we're gonna have to get more bolts. Probably washers and stuff. So we are gonna have to make a Home Depot trip. That's, that's nasty. All right, so we're gonna keep going, I guess. Try to see if we can remove all the other ones. So I had to make a trip to the hardware store. Obviously, you can see why. Look at this stuff. I had to uh, clearly go buy new bolts. Do a lot of stuff. So while I was gone, I hit it with PV Blaster from the inside the cab. There's some access panels in there. And now it's coming off. But this right here, this hole is all rusted out. So I had to get some sheet metal. I'm going to cut me some pieces up, drill some two-inch holes in them. And then just set them on top of there. Just so it has some extra, you know, support. I'm gonna stop this rust right now so that way it don't get no worse, it'll be fine. But I wanted to get something that, that's not gonna put too much weight on that already brittle. I wanna distribute the weight of the what's on the bushing with uh, some sheet metal. It'll go right up there. I'm not gonna weld it or anything because I don't have a welder. So it is, it is what it is as far as that goes, but just showing you how I got this bolt out. Right there, it's terrible. Totally rusted, gone. But you can get in here through the cab. Or through the cab. Look at that thing. Destroyed. Yeah, it's behind the seat here. There's one up here in the front, which I got to over there, you can see. There's one here. It's it's obviously got sealant around the access. So you cut that first, peel it all back, you know, cut around that where that ring is. Exactly where I cut it. Stick a flathead underneath. 
and that panel will come right off. Don't try to stick a flathead underneath there first without cutting everything and pulling it out because you're just going to ruin that panel just like I almost did over there to that one. See that? Yeah, it's all dented up. I'm going to have to bend it all back. I'm going to seal it right back up whenever I'm done with all this because hopefully I never have to do this again. But yeah, that's how you get to it. I've sprayed it with PB Blaster a couple times. Let's see where we were gone and sprayed it again and took it out. That's it. Didn't screw anything in yet or nothing. I don't know if you could tell. The truck looks tilted because the new mounts are on that side. The old mounts are still on that side. I gotta go get a couple more things, but I just wanted you guys to see kind of like the comparison of how much it raised it up. I mean, the mounts were terrible. But I don't want my jack out there in the rain, so. I only put the top mounts on. It's been about a week since I started uh, doing my body mounts. Unfortunately, one of the bolts is stuck and I have no leverage for it. So I've dolled out like 17 drill bits trying to drill through the stud and I have no idea what I'm gonna do at this point. Every other bolt I got off, I cut off one of the radiator support bolts. Um, at this point, I don't, I don't know what to do, so. Maybe once I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. But until then, kind of screwed. Since the last time I talked to you guys, there was some issues I was having, um, which I still am. Still haven't figured out how to get that bolt out. I think what I'm gonna do is weld a nut or another bolt on there to try to remove it. I think that's more of a guaranteed way instead of, I don't wanna ruin those threads on there because I wanna reuse them. Because obviously that the nut on the inside is welded on there. So I might just try to either weld something on there or try a bolt extractor. Those don't really work too well from my experience, but I guess anything right now is worth trying. So I'm gonna try that. But since then, I found a junkyard that's like literally four blocks away from my house. And they have a whole bunch of Chevys, the same you know year area as mine. And those things that were real rusted on the top of those mounts, the crowns, which is what they look like to me, but they're like crowns, ones that are on the top. Those, for the most part, were all good on all these Chevys in the junkyard. So I went there and I got the bolts, the bottom retainers. I got a whole bunch of them because why not? I think I might've overdid it, but it's better to have extra just in case anything ever happens, like what happened to the truck before I got it, when one of the retainers and bolt just kind of broke and just disintegrated and went somewhere which I don't know where but that's actually the same bolt that I can't get off aside from that though I got them all and they're all not really rusted very much at all there's still some paint on them. so what I suggest if you guys do these body mounts is go to your nearest junkyard ask them if they got some OBS Chevys if they do guarantee you you will find perfectly good hardware for these trucks you're not gonna find it on the internet. You're not gonna find it anywhere. Trust me, I've looked everywhere. So you're not gonna find it in any of these places, on the internet, Google, whatever, unless somebody else is parting out their truck. And usually they're not gonna wanna take those off for you because then the cab would just be sitting on the frame and it wouldn't, you know what I mean? So go to a junkyard, guarantee you're gonna find them because junkyard trucks sit in a junkyard. They don't go in the mud, they don't go anywhere. They're usually on land away from salt air salty air and stuff like that they're not going to give you as they're not going to be as rusted plain and simple especially if you're not near the ocean so do that i got an easy out thing i had got had to get some uh milwaukee drill bits but uh like i said i went inside the cab i put everything back where it goes that uh right underneath here is where i accessed it drilled through it kept oiling the drill bit ended up getting through the bolt pulled it out with the easy out i basically actually just drilled the hole so big in it to where i could just deform the bolt to enough to get it out um and then i got it out <coughs> the weird thing about this though is <sighs> torquing these down so it's really old and these are polyurethane i don't know if that makes a difference or not whether torquing them down is easier or harder or if you can even do it or not but um basically uh the the radiator supports right here 
are supposed to be, I believe, 45 foot-pounds, and then the back are supposed to be 55 on the cab, the actual cab, every single one of them. So some of them, the two front radiator support ones, they torqued down to 45, and then I basically, just to make sure everything was even, I measured the whatever was remaining of the bolt, because all the bolts are the same size. So I just wanted to make sure each side was the same. So I measured each, whatever was left over from the bolts that are showing on each side. And I also measured from the cab to the frame to make sure they were pretty even measurements. But the front two did actually go to 45 foot pounds and it was about the same on each side distance between the frame and the cab. The hardest, these two worked well too, but the hardest ones were the rear <clears throat> to get right. These didn't torque down to 55. They just kept going and going and going and ended up being like swelling the polyurethane mount. So I basically torqued it down, screwed it down until my body lines matched up pretty good and uh, made it the same on both sides. Like I said, in between, Measure in between the frame and the cab. Make sure everything's even and you should be pretty good. Like I said, if you use polyurethane mounts, I don't even know if it has something to do with that or not, but you probably won't get it to the right torque spec. So just tighten it down, put some thread locker, medium strength on it and you should be good. But yeah, I finally got them damn cab mounts on and everything looks pretty good now. Took spacers out of the, the bed. Now it doesn't look like it's bent in the middle of my frame. You can see, too, that the reveal in between the bed and the cab looks about the same now from the bottom to the top. I mean, of course, in the bottom it looks a little weird because <laughs> my cab corner is missing, but I do got some cab corners for that. All right, so as you can see, I ran into a lot of problems, a lot of issues. It took me a, quite a long time to finish the mounts and just every tiny issue I ran into just kind of like kept gathering up and snowballing but I finally finished them the truck looks really good it looks even <laughs> it don't look awkward and bent in the middle anymore so I hope you learned a lot from this video and all my mistakes or my issues that I ran into hopefully your truck isn't as rusted as mine so you won't go through this many problems but I hope you learned something I hope it helps if there's any suggestions you guys have for me, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Then there's Kevin. Kevin. <laughs>